Oh, okay. Second video. Um, this is gonna be uh, a request from my email of telling of them, kind of like me, kind of showing them how I identify and deal with people in the world, and also you know my system with women or whatever, and my identifier. So there's a trend of uh. Of stuff that they do in order to do things to, to see what type of person they think you are. So I'm going to give you this right here. Let's see. So they feed the egos of the women. And until they get to be able to feed off of anybody they think they, they can that can benefit them overall. Right. So one telling you to feed. A woman's ego and sex drive. It means that these guys are telling you, well, they will always tell you to go don't date women and don't outside your league and oh date overweight fat women and you know date women who look at you and blah 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 and all this other stuff because they they need you to date those type of women because those are the women who they ruined and those are the women they told they told out their mouth. They told that you were going to be available to them. So let me tell you how a conversation might be with one of these guys and these women. You know, there's a lot of single men out here. The super sly. You know, there's a lot of single women out here. These niggas will take anything. All you got to do is just wave at them and do this and do that. They'll take you. One of these incel guys. You know, I make videos. I make videos for young men to go right to you. I make videos for young men to go right with you. Like... You think that these dudes, they, they're listening to these red pill men. Look, all you got to do is get close to these guys. And all you got to do is get close to these dudes. And then you basically, look, touch their leg or something like that. It's easy to get these dudes. They're, they're not going overseas. They don't give, red pill not working. Look, my job is to get all these young men back to y'all. And give y'all all their gains and stuff like that, man. Fuck that, man. Who cares about these dudes? That's why I'm making these videos. We need. I know y'all. Y'all. All y'all got to do is wait. All y'all have to do is wait a little bit, and we will get all these men back on the table and back to dealing with y'all. Okay. So, then are they ashamed you? Oh man, you you need yo. You need to take those fat women. You ain't better than them. You you dating outside your league. My mans, get out there, man. Yo, stop acting like you better than these women. Because these women, these women, they need some love too. What are you doing? 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 That's how they get you back. Blindly going, blindly going to therapy in order to be mixed diagnosed. So they make it a habit of, hey, go get therapy. 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 But. They don't tell you about the misdiagnosis and the people who uh, who take their own lives because of the wrong medicines that they take. They don't tell you about the people, the psychologists who are mentally ill themselves going around thinking they have power over people. They're not telling you about none of that. They're not telling you about any of this stuff. But somehow, some way, guess what? You go to a therapist, blindly go to a therapist, let them mess you up. Endanger yourself for sexual gratification. Oh, my fault. A running... Running a hamster wheel of rejection. It means that they want you to keep getting told no. Oh, man. I'm going to get told a million times. They want you to go through a million women before you ever get to one. They want you to go through a million women, a million dollars, a million, a million miles just to get one ugly fat chick. That's what their plan is. That's what they want to do. Endanger yourself for sexual gratification. So these are the guys... Who don't care what, what happens to you. Because they survived it right. They want younger men. To have a oops baby. And be paying child support like. Super sly. Or. Have a felony. <laughs> or. Uh, I forgot what this dude do. Or brag about people. Or talk down to people. By having sex with fat women and overweight women right. Um. They want you to have a story about you harming yourself in order to get a woman. Almost going to jail. Getting stabbed up. Uh, 
a crazy woman throwing it and destroying your property just for some sex. <laughs> Have a horror story that might end you in jail with a scar from a woman. That's g- going down there. But it's just sexual gratification. They want to see the scars. They want to hear the bad stories. They want to have. They want to be able to. The, the they they like women. They want to be able to resonate with you. Because if you don't have a bad story, you ain't good with women. If you don't have a bad story, you you haven't been through the ringer yet. If you don't have a bad story, blah 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 blah. And this and this and that. Wow, that's what they want, right? Brag about destroyed pro, uh, destroyed property as a medal of honor. So, you have to you have to repay thousands of dollars of a woman going crazy on you and thinking that's a medal of honor. Oh, this woman threw my stuff and broke my broke my car. Oh, this woman uh, destroyed my TV. Man, she was she just liked the dick. Man, <laughs> she wants the dizzics. <laughs> destroying your shit, destroying your life, destroying you, and might put you in jail over some pussy. <laughs> That's what they want young men to deal with, right? Have to remind you that something is always wrong with you and not the environment. So these people have to always remind you something wrong with you, something wrong with you, something wrong with you, something wrong with you, something wrong with you. Wrong with you. These are the people who might look around the corner and see a dumpster right down the corner, but the person that they don't like, they're going to say that person smells like the dumpster. And it's not the dumpster fault that the dumpster smell like smells smells bad. No, the dumpster don't smell bad. You smell bad. You need to take showers more. You need to do this. Guess what? These are the same people who will tell you that hey, it's not the landfill's fault that you can't find a good item there. It's your fault because you're not trying hard enough. Oh, it's not your fault that you walked into a room that was red. Even though you were told to wear blue. It's, it's not the room's fault that it's red. It's your fault because they told you to wear blue. This is it's gonna keep it, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. They have to remind you that something wrong with you and nothing wrong with the wrong with their whole concept. Have to follow you. Have to follow you everywhere to tell you and remind you that you are lower than them and they are better than you. This in passports, this in SYSBM, this in everything. I never seen successful rich people follow somebody and say they better than them. I never seen porn stars go out their way. And I'm talking about guys who get vagina every single day. These guys have sex three times a day in any. I never seen these guys go around talking about passport men and SYSVM. I never seen these guys say, take anything you can get. I never seen the true guys who get women go around having to follow a bunch of people they don't like and a bunch of people they think they lower and just to tell them that they get women. They go on traveling overseas, blah, 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 blah. It's weird. Uh... Keeping you in a box by doing things their way and never allowing anyone else doing things on the opposite end. As their concept is wrong, their concept is always, your concept is always wrong and their concept is always right. So basically it means that you have to do things their way and their way is always the right way. You have to get women the way they got women. You have to, you have to. Talk to people the way they talk to people. You have to do everything they, they, they want you to do. Because your way is always going to be talked about. But their way is always going to be confirmed. That, oh yeah, that's the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> right? So. With my system. I always learned how. I can, I can basically grab thousands and even millions of women. Who agree with certain stories and certain techniques. And these are the techniques that I I, I, I showed, right? The techniques that I, I, I came up with right here. But it's, there's obviously more. So, you have to watch out for women 
who use these words and watch out for women who use these type of techniques, right? So, the Me Too. Any woman who agrees with certain people in the Me Too or was part of any kind of section, you cut them out of your life because if they think that person is right about Me Too and somebody and they didn't confront, they didn't, they didn't, if they was on that person's side and they didn't call that person out for Me Too and somebody, it's, as soon as they don't have a logical reasoning for this person and they just join this person just, just cause, it draws in. If a woman agrees with a technique that another woman does or any woman does on a level of platform or a higher level of platform, don't have her in your life. Cut all them people out. Because if she, if, if she believes that technique can work for other women, it's, it's going she's going to do that technique herself. Right. Anybody who agree with me too, anybody who is part of that, anybody who confirms with it, you know, in a, you know. A weaponized way. Get them out your life. Laws. Now. Women have different things they do with laws. If they call the police on a guy. Stay away from them. Because if they can call the police on that person. They can call the police on you. There's multiple men right here out that took their own life. A guy jumped. A principal or a, uh, whatever principal. He jumped on Disney World. Because his wife. Uh. Accuse him of touching her her daughter. Um, his reputation was ruined. Um, there was another guy who had a fight with his wife. If the law get called and your woman don't protect you, nine times out of ten, you got to get rid of her. If she even thinks that's a case of instead of dealing with it, it at home, dealing with it in there, or she agrees with somebody like that, you have to watch out for women who think these techniques are okay to do. Because none of these women are coming to the table exposing none of these people. That's right there. Scamming techniques. So you already know which techniques they're going to use. Uh, you know, getting over on guys, foodies, and all this other stuff. Any woman who uses this technique and she doesn't use it on you, guess what? She can use something else on you that she agrees with other women will do. Get her out of here. Underestimate what these women do a lot is underestimate the ability of certain men. When a woman underestimate people, when she says certain things out her mouth, you can disqualify her right in and there. She's not no good woman and all this other stuff that she says she is. Use the overused words, the overuse of of therapy. If a woman consistently talk about therapy, 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 cut her out your life. Because guess what? It's a go-to now. Therapy, 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 get help, get help, get help, get help, get help, get help, therapy, therapy, therapy. Get her out. Don't don't mess with her. Dangerous. The overused words of dangerous. So rappers ain't dangerous. Gang members not dangerous. Drug dealers not dangerous. These players not dangerous. But guess what? Incels are dangerous. Uh, black pills are dangerous. They don't make any distinctives of level one incels or level three incels or level one black pills or level three. They say all of them are dangerous. What this try to confirms is what this this does is. Putting them on every, putting them in a position where it makes that person that they call dangerous more dangerous than the people that are dangerous, right? Super Sly said this, right? If his daughter met one black pill dudes, he'd probably have to strangle one of these guys to death. And I said in my head, you think that that's not going to put the wrath of their family to try to get you out of here? Like guys like Super Sly might end up getting killed before you go and choke somebody out because he talked to your daughter and then you get knocked out or you get your, you get your head split open. All that, all them things that you think you have, them, 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 them links or them connections, they not going to save your ass because they didn't save Roger and Alan Kirby. Oh, my bad. Too late to say that. Yeah. Roger and Alan Kirby was talking about his, Kabasama or whatever major league, whatever he was had. Remember, 
and I, I'll go back to Roger Allen Curry. Remember Aaron Fallon? Remember when, uh, what was his name? Oh, what, 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 what was, I forgot which screen was on. Aaron Fallon went after Man of Tomorrow. And Man of Tomorrow said he was going to, I thought, I forgot what he said he was going to do. And ARC, same guy who don't have enough money for his, don't have money for after he passed away, and don't have money to to get any kind of medical stuff. Said to Aaron Fallon that you don't have to worry about Man of Tomorrow. I got connections in in um, universities, so I'll help you if you need legal help. So that shit was just bullshit then. <laughs> The whole point of making somebody dangerous, saying somebody is dangerous, is basically getting it off of them, making the person that they call dangerous more of a priority than than themselves. That's what it's that's what it's there for. So let's move on. Game. We already know anybody who used the word game, swag, and all this other shit that they talk about is a useless person. Who always going to try to get over everybody. They not. They don't just try to get over on. On women. They try to get over on men. I told you this before. Is that. They think just because they're good with women. They can get over. They can get over on. They can get over on every man they can. So. Incel. If anybody overused the word incel and it's a woman and she uses it so casually, but she likes you, get rid of her. Because it shows you her inability to think of a otherwise uh a think outside the box. She is not the so-called good woman if she goes and talks about incels like that. Gaslighting. A lot of these women use gaslighting techniques. Oh yeah, man, blah blah blah, blah whatever. They they use the gaslighting techniques to basically you you named it gaslight you. They gaslight you, and at some point you don't want to be around somebody who can gaslight everybody. Or every kind of situation they in. Because eventually when they gaslight you. I mean when they gaslight other people. They can, they can gaslight you. Stay away from people who use gaslighting techniques. Stay away from women who use victimhood techniques. Where they always have to be the victim. Hope orgasm. These women are very very dangerous. Right? The women who use. Uh... Hope orgasm is they have to be around a trauma bombing, a, a trauma bonding sessions to to not realize their own mistakes. A lot of them block their own mistakes by being around other people who have the same kind of mistakes. The hope orgasm that these people have is trying to sell things to you that trying to sell things of a life or something to you that. It's hopeless. It's, it's not real there. These are the people who would tell you that someone's out there. Stay away from somebody who has. Who, who are, are hope orgasms. Who do hope, hope, hope orgasms. And you can put it as you. You could you uh, think about it as you want. Shaming. You have to stay away from. I stay away from women who do overall shaming. On anything. Because if they could shame somebody else. They could shame you. Censorship. See, it's a two-way street, right? When they use words like dangerous and therapy and all these other things, pretty much they agree with censorship. They agree that you shouldn't be talking, but they should be talking. People who agree with censorship in general, or well, agree with censorship, 
instead of suppressing or at least a more of a bigger platform, then then basically, yeah, they uh, what you call it? Because, yeah, there is some people who deserve to be kicked off. They should be given a chance, not censored, but given a chance. Then. If they are hurting people or something else, I'm talking about hurting people, not fake hurting people, not saying they making great dangerous, more dangerous people because that's a gaslight. It's more of a. They have to come to the. I wish there would be you come to the table if you're talking about a certain group and you have it hash it out with them. Not on your platform, but in between platform. Immediate judgment. They like to do immediate judgment on people, right? You see that I have all these different things that I see that's a, that's a whole entire moving system. I don't make immediate judgment on anybody. But if you attach certain words, you listen to certain music or blah, 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 whatever you have... I already judge you and I already know what type of person you are. I don't have to call automatically judge people. But they can immediately judge you. No self-reflection. Most of these people don't have any kind of reflection. Most of the women don't have reflection on where they at, where they should be, and how humble they should be. They have a problem with humbleness. Overcharge. So... Never never deal with somebody who's overcharging you who won't overcharge anybody else. See, I think it it's always a thing to do a due diligence when it comes down to dating somebody or dating people. I'll tell you this. Uh, one of my friends. One of my friends' grandfather was a uh, a serial killer. So his grand his grandfather went into he was a part of war uh what Vietnam he was in Vietnam and he saved a bunch of his his own people right nobody after the war Nobody knew that his grandfather was this, you know, war hero. You know, basically he was a badass over there in Vietnam. He wasn't scared. He was willing to die, whatever. He saved a much better looking guy. And the guy always refers to him as this guy saved my life. I wouldn't be here because of him. So he would do anything that this guy, his, his grandfather would ask him. So his grandfather, because pretty much his grandfather was pretty much young. (laughs) He died of uh, cancer. So basically, because people might say, oh, Vietnam, oh, he not that, oh, no, he, he was old, but he wasn't old, old, but he died early on his deathbed, but he told his grandson, Because his grandson, you know, (laughs) you know how young, there's young, there's, there's young women. There's young women right now who are grandmas. That's was his grandpa. He wasn't no old guy, super old guy, super old guy. He wasn't that guy. Um, he told his, um. He told him that he will always walk with his um his his friend, his squad mate, because they was they became best friends after it. So he would use him to go talk to women first, and then he would go to he would go talk to the women afterwards to see what they say. If they would say the same things to uh him that they said to the better looking guy. And he found out a lot of these women were full of shit. So called the good women. His grandfather, this is one of the techniques that I use, I still use to this day, but I, I never revealed it to people to today. So after the war, he didn't want to date or anything, so he just wanted to have sex. 
So he would pay for hookers. And the hookers would always do ridiculous prices on him. So he called in his friend, his squad mate, his best friend. And he would tell his best friend to go pay for the sex. And when he was single, when his best friend was single. So he would go down, pay for sex, have sex with these women. They were always lower the price for the good looking guy. For him, they didn't lower the price. So he took liberties and did what you thought, what you think that I know he's going to do. Took him, took a couple of them out over the rage of them overpricing him. So he stopped doing that and he started pursuing relationships. But he never took he never took liberties of taking the women out that 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 rejected him. His friend, the numbers of the women that his friend took from him or was acting different towards him was astonishing. He said it was in the hundreds. And the he told his friend to sleep with at all of his girlfriends and most of them slept with his best friend because he was a better looking guy. The woman that he the woman that he married and died before was the one of the only women that never tried to have sex with his best friend. Never was impressed with his best friend's looks and never treated him better than he treated his best friend. His best friend talked to her Talked to her first. And then he talked to her afterwards. And she treated him better than the best friend. That's how he did it. And. That's one of the things that I always. Learned from. And I'm appreciative of that. When I learned from that. He told me not to tell nobody. Well, nobody knows my friends and none of that stuff. But. That technique I've used for decades. And even paying better looking guys to, to creep on women that so-called like me or, 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 yeah, that good woman. You can always test these chicks and the overcharge happens. Knowing your own worth. Talking point. My bad. I, I put it six, but it's T. <laughs> if a woman is constantly telling other women to know your worth, they... Nine times out of ten think they're more worth than the men that they're with. Okay. So. So. To me. In my reflection on the women that I would want to have in my life. Or the women that I have. I would date. There's a top tier. Mid tier. And low tier. And I'm going to show you with pictures. Mid-tier, low-tier, and top-tier. Mid-tier, the top-tier women are the women that I want and I'm definitely happy with. The mid-tier women are, okay, I'm, co I'm okay with her. But I want to do a little bit better. And the low-tier women is, I'm spinning my wheels until I find something better. I would never... Try to go for low tier because I know I won't do 100% and that person will probably get hurt. The mid tier and the, I'm a mid tier and a top tier type of guy. <clears throat> I'm not a low tier guy. But if I do go for a low tier something ever, it will be probably overseas. <laughs> not here. Um, That's my my ranking for women. Low tier, mid tier, high tier, uh, top tier. Mid tier and low tier. I don't do the the fours and fives and six and blah 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 because that's stupid. It's all it, it has to be personalized, not not a uh, uh, public ranking system because you know people try to tell talk about how the fours and fives, but they do it by their own personal. It it's better for you to take in your own personal. Ranking system and make up your own shit to women that you think are attractive. Never let nobody else judge what you like or what you what you like. If you like overweight women, do that. But you know, overall, they're not ranked at a high rank, right? But 
your personal rank should matter more than anybody else's. So here we go. How I pick the type of women that I want out of every all these different things. And I even got more. A woman's hair is important to me. A woman's body type is important. Her medical history. The sex drives. Her silhouette. How she looks in clothes and how she looks in certain type of clothes and colors. I'm a I'm a feet and I'm a I'm a hands guy and nails guy. I like women who got feminine hands, somewhat clean. Well, not somewhat. I'm okay with certain nails, and you can't have ugly ass feet. The lower tier women, you might have ugly feet or whatever. It's a give and take. Eye color, skin. Tolerance level, fashion, associates and relationships, past lengths, drawing power. So people might say, well, draw, drawing power. Drawing power is a confidence booster. Is important somewhat, but not always important. Drawing power is the fact is that I can use my girl's looks as a drawing power to myself. Or also a drawing power to the fact that I was able to get this woman right here. And it gives you a sort of confidence that you can pull that in. And if the woman has drawing power, it makes you appreciate her a little bit more. Because it makes other men, it makes you feel like you got something that other men don't have. Or, and it also gives you a certain way of appreciating the person because she has the drawing power and you want to keep her around as long as possible. Um, attention levels. Uh, attention levels is basically the places you're, you're, you're the attention levels is, the, is basically a, a Ranked upon the the woman, the the chick. She has to know when to tone it down and when to draw people in, and when to keep herself out of danger. That's what the attention levels is. Uh, social media background. It means that you have to. I figure. I have. I have to figure out. What this chick likes and don't dislike. What video she watches and what she doesn't like. And what watches. Who comments she's under. Because if I find out that she's one of these feminists. And she's watching these left waning stuff. And all this other stuff. You're going to be in for it. You're going to be in for it. Just like how they think that men who watch in sale channels are dangerous right. So why would I get around somebody who is an undercover feminist. Who listen to people who talk down to men. Entertainment interests. I have to look at what she listened to. What kind of movie she like. Because that could reflect on who she is. She could see a movie that. Tells her that all men are bad. And she could keep watching these movies. We already know women are easily manipulated. For TV and stuff. Financial background. <clears throat> That's important. Does she has debts? Do she uh, does she has debts? Do she uh do she know how to spend money per week, per year, per month? Skill set. So skill set is a combination of things that outside of making a whole bunch of money requires. Family, does she know how to Raise a family. Did she learn from her mom? Blah, 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 blah. And all these other things. Right? Medical history is a part of the family history as well. The skill sets are part of that too. Family history as well. You have to look at the family too. I forgot to put that under there. Her face. So, I have to be looking at this person all right. Um, all the time. I would, I would, I would basically, I'm going to break down all the women that I find attractive and I will show you. What they would look like if they if they didn't have that hair or whatever, right? Okay. You have to require yourself what type of women out there 
for you to date. And you have to put them in a category to know how long that relationship's going to last based off what category they're in. Because if you try to wife up somebody who is is in some of these categories, then you you set yourself up for failure. So, fangirl. So, these type of women who are fangirls are the women who are fans of a majority of uh, 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 fans are they're fans of a certain particular guy and they're fans of a particular lifestyle. If they get to those guys that they really like, they will do anything for them. The one thing that I always ask all these stupid ass guys about good women, where are all these good women fan club? Where are these women at right now? Why don't good men have a fan club? Why don't certain men have fan clubs that you said that the women are out there? See, one thing that I learned is that a particular guy will grab her up a particular group of women that likes that particular man. These women are the ones that a lot of men want to have. Fangirls or fangirl women are the women that will literally sell their soul to be around a the guy. They will throw away everything to be around this guy. They are a particular high level fan of this particular man, lifestyle, everything. That means that you have fangirls of Pookies and Ray Rays, fangirls of rich men, fangirls of dangerous guys, fangirls of this. Fangirl women are always going to be the guy's fan. So that means that nine times out of 10, if you're dating these women and she is not a fan and not in your fan lane and fan club, guess what? That woman has on a time limit, period. You shouldn't wife her up. You shouldn't take her seriously because if she's a fan of tall men, she will Date or sleep with the tall men. If she's a fan of the rich guy, she will sleep with the guy for that guy. If she's a fan of a certain particular body type and you don't have it, guess what? You're done. She's a fan of a big penis. She will go to the guy who has a big penis while she's married to you. That's why there's these fangirls. They could be in relationships and stuff, but they will give they will give it all to be with the people they're fans of. Second, a cover girl. Cover girls are the top notch women that are gorgeous. These are the women that draw in so much men. These are the models, the IG models, the the the, the celebrity women. These are the women who demand as much attention as possible. These are women that you put on covers. These are the women, these are the top tier women that you most guys want to go after cover girls top tier actress these are the manipulators these are the women they're they're the, they're the fan girls but they're in a, a whole level whole nother level the top tier actress are the ones who will stay in a marriage for 20 years and break up with you these are the women who manipulate the whole entire system and lie on you, me to you, and stuff like that. These are the women who pretend like they're good. And once they get into that role, they want to jump ship and go to another another TV show. Because they're not getting paid enough money for you. The casting call girl. The casting girls are women that are in line for... A particular role for a man that they're waiting for. Or they are want to be in. They want to be in a role for. These are, the, these are the women that are fine with being side chicks. These are the women waiting in line to be number one, number two. These are the women to be in the guy's main movie. On, in some, some guy's rotation. You don't ever want to date a casting call girl. Because 
she will leave you if that guy that she is in line for wants to make her his main girl. Or say, you want to be number two in my in my in, in my movie, or you want to be the main cast in his movie. And she will leave to be a supporting role in his in his TV show or movie. Okay. Woman in the crowd. The women in the crowd are the average looking women who want to be. They think they're too good to be a fangirl. But they want to have the same roles as a cover girl or a top actress. There are women in the crowd who don't stand out, who don't do anything. These are the quote unquote good women. They don't stand out. They don't try hard. They don't do anything. But they all they are is a mixed in the crowd. They don't do anything different. These are women you don't want to be with. Because once you take these women up on the offer of these, oh, good women. And she's an average woman and she doesn't look good. She's going to want to be in the role of one of these women. And it's not going to be with you. Dream girl. As you dream girl. This girl. Is the walking embodiment. Is the walking embodiment of somebody's dream. From the hair, nails, makeup, blah, blah, blah. That's the girl that every every man wants to be with. These are the top these are the per, these are women that are personal top choice for any guy. If you wonder why a lot of guys tolerate certain things from certain women is because that chick was their dream girl. That was the girl that they were dreaming of their whole life. Head of office women. So the head of office women are pretty much women who Uh, head of office women are the particular women that their roles are to control many women out here. Their roles is to um, make sure that people go their way. They they they're the managers. They're the manager of. All these particular groups. These are the women who. Will promote. A, a, a whole phase. But they never went to a whole phase. These women are. The ones that are in roles. To make feminism. Or make this particular lifestyle. Look appealing. They got their roles. If you date one of these women. Nine times out of ten, you're going to have to deal with despicable shit. Because she's going to be doing... Any dude who hook up with these type of women, it kind of reflection on how kind of... They're scumbags just like the women in the head of office are scumbags. A lot of these women uh, will do anything to... Uh, <laughs> to... Make money, make anything off of these, or off of a uh, a group of women. Head of office women are Cynthia G. Some of the divestors, some of these women who tell you to go uh, uh, use men for money and don't give no no ass and none of this stuff, or take get, make men for their dates and stuff. The head of the head of office women, there's levels to it. But most of them are total scumbags when it comes down to women. Elite class of women. And the head of office women are usually some of the women who are have high degrees, but they still deal with like low tier dudes. They got basically a two face. Elite class women. These are the rich. These are the rich women that are the one percent. We want to talk about the 1% of men. These are the 1% of women. These are the princesses. These are the cartel daughters. These are the billionaire daughters. These are the 
the music industry daughters. These are the top actors' daughters. These are the guys, these are the women who grew up with money and power. These are the women who have a selection. They can choose the whole world. These women are, these type of women out here, if you got with one of these women, you're set. But one thing, it comes with a lot of rules. You ain't cheating, and you definitely not treating her wrong. Because she has a whole elite class of power that will dwarf whatever you do. These elite class women are the 1%. And most guys won't ever be able to chance to date them. Rotten women. Rotten women. Rotten women are the ones who are always in the way. They're bitter. They're in every comment section. They're always having an opinion about somebody else's relationship. They always having an opinion about somebody else's life. They always have some they always ruining something for somebody else. Some they always ruin it for some older people. Rotten women are really messed up women to the core. These women will come in an environment where everybody's happy and they will stank up the place with their attitudes. Rotten women are just disgusting. This is why you have to control not having rotten women in your environment. Because once these rotten women come in your environment, they will rotten everybody else. Rotten women are women who stayed out, who did things for way too long, and nobody thinks that they're worth anything. These are the women who are the thoughts, single moms, the women who are bitter as shit from all of her past relationships and all they think is all men are bad. These women will try to influence every other woman to think like them, act like them, dress like them. And then they try to shame you and tell you that you're doing wrong. These are the women who are shamed uh, stay-at-home moms. These are women who are sh- that shames women who want to do housely duties. These are the women who say uh, submission is bad. These are the women who say men don't build nothing. These are the women, these are rotten women. They are just disgusting and you notice, if you leave rotten food next to food that is rotten women in general are disgusting people to be around. They don't have good personalities. They can't say anything good. They are just disgusting people. You ever actually had food in your house? And it was rotten and it smelled up it smelled the entire ice box or shelf. And you like, what is that smell? You know a rotten woman. The rotten women. Are literally, literally, literally will contaminate anything that you do. Would you pour rotten milk inside fresh cereal? Would you chop up rotten tomatoes and put in the ingredients of your food? These people, these women in general, are bad ingredients for a family, bad ingredients for dating. Bad ingredients for anything. But the fact is. There's so many of them out there. That they oversaturate the market. And make it feel like it's all rotten. And the women who are not rotten. Don't try to get away from them. Key holders. These are the traditional women. Who hold the key to a. A particular culture. She's the head of the family. She the one to introduce you and let you into the family. It's not always the fathers who generally keep certain bad people out. It's the moms. The moms could recognize 
The elder women can recognize a good man to a bad man because they have tons of experience. Key holder women are very important to building, um, pretty much building. Where is it at? Okay. They are the ones that build. What is that? These are the ones who build entire families. <clears throat> These are the ones who've been, who, who, who make families go around. They don't want nobody to mess up their entire families. Um, family is important to them. And why I call them key holders is because they... They hold the entire key to families. They're the ones who have can lock people out of families and let family and let people enter in their families. They're the ones who are the ones who sit at the head of the table next to the father. They are the consularies or the capos of Adon. They got the ear. They're the ones who Make the guy do this and this and that. A lot of these women already know their role. They don't want to be head of the table. But they want to have say so. And they want to make sure that everything goes. They're the ones who. Who take care of. The whole entire family system. The key holder women are very important. And those are the women that you should search out for. The women who. The key holder women. Who understand that building that key. To having a family. These are the women who ain't going to divorce you. These are the women who are going to keep the family together. They want to build an entire legacy. So they can be the key holders of that. The key over to everything. Oh shit. I put dream girls two times. My fault. <laughs> the spotlight girl. So. The spotlight girl. Are very attractive women who. All they are is empty, the empty looks. They're different from the cover girl. The cover girl has something to make her somebody's cover, multiple people's cover. The spotlight girl is someone who brings in unnecessary attention and they overdo it. It means they got an ulterior motive to always want to. Put the light on them. Always want the attention on them. Always having the spotlight on them. And they walk around. Every time just to. Go into a room. And be spotlighted. And the last one. The work of art. So. I got to tell you this. I don't think I ever ran into uh, a woman who was a work of art. Um, there was close, but the, the a woman who was a work of art, she has perfect everything. Um, everything in the, every in every category, she's she's a work of art. Or sometimes you can be a work of art. On your mentality, your body, your hair. It, de it depends. A work of art girl can mean many different things. And there's different levels to it. So. You got that? So. This is my personal mindset and list or whatever you want to think. Right? So. If somebody asks me what's my worth, I said 60K. Um. The techniques that I use, there's a app called Counter, Thing Counter. It gives you a perspective on what you do every single day. How many episodes you watching of a show? How many times you did push-ups? How many times somebody said something bad to you? How many times this and this and that? How many this and this and that? You can count 
per day on what someone did or said to you, what you said. It it helps you understand and give you a perspective on yourself and everybody around you and your environment. Graph Tracker is a overall bigger tracking system than the first one. Track Graph gives you an an overview of monthly review of everything from how many times you went to the gym, how many times you worked, how many uh, times you drank the wrong stuff, this and this and that. And it gives you an overall perspective. And this is the thing about these tracking systems that I love and I enjoy. Every single month, it restarts. Meaning that if you have a goal, if you have something to prove or some something that you want to do, you have to start over every month. Hey man, how many push-ups I do this year? Boom, how many push-ups I do this month? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that don't matter no more. That last month don't matter what you did. How many days I went without doing this? <laughs> that don't matter no more. That was last month. It was this month now. How many days you didn't do this? How many days somebody said this? How many days did this, this, this? How many days you did this? It gives you a perspective on it. Now, overall, Smart Recorder. Smart Recorder is to get you out of situations between people who try to pull you into it. This is the best thing about having a phone. Somebody talk about somebody. You be quiet and you record them. Let them talk. And keep that on file. I had that done before. I told y'all before the times that I was with certain friends that I couldn't trust them and I had a feeling. They started talking about me and all this other stuff. Guess what? Smart record. And I looked in there. Screenshots. That's important as well. You will hear it in their own voice of the stuff that they say about other people to try to drag you in. And it, it gets you out of certain situations. Video diary. Now, video diary could be important for you. It helps you see where you at now and see where, say, see where you at then. It helps you have a perspective on what you what kind of mindset you was in back then and what kind of mindset you is now the difference between a lot of people everybody got hearsay and their say right people say i used to be an incel blah 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 or i used to do this and that it's important like i said before i might do some other shit i might do some really stuff but i might i might hook up a patreon because I might get paid. I'm going to get paid for having people enter my life. Because last time I had people enter my life, yeah, it didn't work out so great. Especially the workouts and all that stuff. So I might just get paid for the time of expose myself out there. So nobody don't try to like, at least I can have a safety net with the money. It's just in case something goes down again. You have video recordings of yourself in a relationship. You really video record yourself saying the things that you need to say to it. Record yourself in relationships. Record yourself going to the gym. Record yourself how you feel. Record yourself this and this and that. Record yourself in this and this and that. It keeps you a, a daily diary that is digital for you to look at. Oh man, I did this workout, blah, blah, blah. Oh man, ah, blah, blah, blah. And this and this and that. Gym logs. This is one of the best counters that I always had for people who tell me to go to the gym. And I said, okay, where your gym logs at? Or where yours? And I bring out stacks and stacks of books of when I went to the gym. Stacks of notepads and everything else. Now I got my phone. Then you're going to see all these different all these different workout things that I have in my phone. Catalogs and all these logs and days that I went there. What time I went there. Pictures of your... Year experience from TV shows, movies, video games, and stuff like that, right? I have, you saw my video, you saw my videos. I mean, you saw my uh, pictures, my screenshots of the episodes that I watch, the movies that I watch. Every single year, I make a list of the stuff that I watch. 
give you perspective of what I did last year and what I didn't do last year. It gives you a list of stuff that you can do, and what you can't do, and what you want to do. It also, to get the video logs and the graphs and everything else you need to do, it shows you of your ways that you want to make money. Or an idea that didn't work for you, but it could work for somebody else. This can help other people too. Okay, now it's time. Almost done. Okay, so you have to understand my top tier women are. I'm a Bavera. Of women who have curly hair. That is my super weakness with women. Curly hair women. This is Brazil. She's Brazilian. Brazilian. This is a Brazilian thing. Right? Yeah. Curly hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Straight hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. So that's my top tier woman. That's one of the aspects that I like in a top tier woman is curly hair. My second tier. The top tier things I like in a woman. Because you have to do this yourself. What you like and what you don't like in a woman. So you can try to compromise. And try to have re- have a rea- reality expectations. See, I like women with curly hair. I'm not, I can drop down a standard for women who have straight hair. I like women who have long The length of the hair is important to me because I like a woman who has long hair, curly hair. Those are the main function high levels of that. I don't like women with short hair. I don't like women with fake hair. And I don't like women that have super afros. Curly hair is not an afro like that. I like women who have certain highlights in their hair. My low level woman, low tier women, are women with short hair. I don't like short hair. I don't. It's, uh, to me, it's, uh, it's not attractive. So, you have to find out what type of hairstyle you like. I like women with curly hair, highlights, uh, sometimes with different creative roles, uh, creative things in their hair. But my main thing is curly hair. I like certain hair t- hair uh, hair colors in a, on a woman. Now, let's go to let's let let me show you that. Let's go. So I I got hair. We got hair, right? You know that's my particular girl that I like for some hair. So let's let's. Let's uh, see. Long hair. I love girls with length. See, her hair is not super short. This is why we have to get. This is right here. See your hair right. This right here. This right here is unattractive to me. The hair. I don't like women with short hair like this. I don't. It, it's unattractive to me. Right? Hair like this. Long. This is very unattractive to me right here. 
also don't like septums. I don't like women with septum in their knee in their hair. I don't like women with septums in their nose. I don't like women with tape tattoos. And I don't like women with too many tattoos on their body. So, body type. Let's go through it. This is okay. Right here. This is excellent. This is a uh, level two. This is level two to me. All right? She got a level two body. Uh, let's see. She has a level two body. She is a fitness person. Her body is a level. Her body is a level three. Because she takes care of her body. She has a good silhouette. But without the clothes, this is what she does, what she looks like. Her silhouette is a number two. She's a number two. Number two. This is a number two. Number two. See my number, my uh, my level, my level threes, because that's the highest. My level threes are women who has uh, great silhouette and great the great silhouette and great. Um, they have great silhouette and they have, uh, a great body type. See, I'm thinking, of, I'm always thinking about if a, if a woman has a number three body, it means that her body she can add a couple pounds to her and she won't be completely fat. A number two body can always turn into a number one if they don't take care of themselves. It always happens with body types like this. Women like this are number three. Why? Because they're athletes. She's a boxer. She's a Japanese boxer. She has a turn number two. She's a number three. Even though... She's a number one. Oh, let me check. Number one and number two. Because she look kind of anorexic. She's a number three. So, that's my body type, right? I like various shapes. But you have to, you can't be a number one. That's the least attractive one. A number two and number three is normal. It, it, it my things vary. It variation, right? 
medical history, sex drive, su uh, silhouette. So you see silhouettes right here. She's a number two. And her silhouette is nice. She might be a number one in the body. But this is the thing about that. Women who know how to have a silhouette are the most important because things like this, where they wear out, make them look good in dresses and outside of, you know, in dresses is, is, is important, man, to me. So this is the thing about that, right? There's women out here who have uh, long hair. We I broke that down. The body, the face. My highest percentage chance of high top tier women to me is women with good look. With, with the particular hair that I like. Um, certain silhouette and a, bird, a different body type. I don't necessarily give a shit about ass. Or boobs. I care about a proportion of a silhouette. There's women out here that have no boobs at all. And her silhouette looks ten times better than a girl with ass and boobs. People. Too many people. And I'm starting to notice that. Rely too much on ass and boobs. And they think that means the whole package is, is attractive. And it's not. This chick right here. This is curly hair chicks. I forgot. Let me see. Is her? Oh no, she got the. Uh, sh uh, let's see. Her body type is a two. But one thing that makes her stand out, especially. With her is her highlights, her feet, her nails, and her skin. She has beautiful on here. Maybe it's not in real life. I don't know. She has beautiful skin tone. Her eyes are very seductive. Silhouette. As I said, her hair length. Women like her. So, let's let's break it down. So, feet and nails. You have to have your nails done the right way. If you're going to touch me, I don't like people touching me with dirty ass uh, man hands. And the feet, see, she got her she keeps her nails done, she keeps her toes done. Same with her. And for some reason, they like to say 30 feet women, 30 feet women, 30 feet women, 30 feet women. But for some reason, a lot of these chicks have better feet than the women overseas. I mean, the women in America. Despite the fact. See, this is what I'm talking about. I had to break it apart. <laughs> so, 
So, eye color. Eye color. I'm a sucker for different eye colors. She got green. Green is bluish. She has brown. She has brown eyes. See, this is what I'm saying right now. You got to know exactly all the stuff that you like. She has that, that exotic look. Long hair, black, certain eyes. Now, the top tier eye color that I love in women is the blue eyes. You can talk shit all you want, but I think they're beautiful on women. This is the reason why a lot of these women put contacts in their eyes so they can have the blue eyes. But they still can't beat Asians with their proportionate eyes like that. Or eye colors like this. So let's uh let's go right here. Tolerance level is outside. That's outside of looks. Fashion. A lot of these girls can look good without Gucci and Gabbana and any of that bullshit because they take care of other things like their hair and they take care of their makeup. Girls like her. Is not wearing anything expensive. And she still looks good. Girls like her. Are not wearing anything expensive. But she still looks fine. Oh. You have to pay attention to the fashion that some of these girls are wearing before you try to approach them because sometimes they'll be out your price range. She has minimum level fashion but high end fashion because she looks attractive. She has high class fashion. This is one thing that a lot of people got to find out as well before they approach chicks and whatever. She's a celebrity of course. Okay, let's, uh, oops, ah, damn it. Okay, let's see it. So, lengths, power, all this stuff, it, basically that's outside of looks. And then you have the face. There's different facial structures that I can show you that I'm attracted to, right? She has a good round face. Her eyes are cool. Her lips are cool. Nose is okay. It's just something wrong with her eyebrows. Right here, her eyebrows, they're good. She got a little bit too much blush, whatever. Lips okay. Body okay. She got the good stare. She's attractive. She can look anywhere she wants, blah, blah, blah. You can't see anything right here. She has a so-called nice smile, but I don't really judge that all the time. Because people have different rules for themselves. The stare, the eyes, the face. So let me go to the least thing expected, right? They got baby faces. They are different types of faces. Baby faces, googly eyes, attractiveness, all of this other stuff. Cat eyes, cat eyes, the good stare. When you get it, when you get, when you start liking, uh, when you start dating Asian chicks, you get to that point where you get like Asian men and you start looking at eyes, different eyes, how to slant and all this other stuff. It's a, it's a whole different thing. And when you get, you know, white women, there's different types of things with them too.
Brazilian women, there's type of things with them too. Asians and some black, but you as you see, like I said, SYSB and whatever. So I understand. So here we go right here. She is not super overly attractive. You can tell because this is why I said hair. Sometimes people's hair exposes their the weakness in their faces, right? So she has that right here, but it's showing just how she exposes how, you know, she's not super, 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 super trapped. But with her long hair, that's why she plays around with it to hide some of her flaws, the streaks. That's why they get the streaks. Then she does the longness and her, her, uh, her eyes are covering her eyes cover her eyes cover up her flaws in her face and her body as well. She. Is ain't that attractive. But. You see her. She's a very attractive. Long hair. Good face. But to me her body is a two. She's very 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 tall. I don't rate none of them. But if you could ask me, I'll give you the answer of what tier are they on. So, this is the thing that I have to tell and give you advice to everybody else. If you got Instagram, you got Twitter, start taking these pictures and putting them in your category of women that you like. And when people say that you date outside your league, show these women the variation of women, women low tier, low tier, mid tier, and high tier. If they have something wrong with that and they can't. If you show them the women you like that you will tolerate from low tier and mid tier and then high tier women. Then ask them to give you pictures of women that they think that's on your level. You have to break it down like this where they can't say shit to you because like I said before, I bring, I bring up with, I bring with, I bring all this shit. I bring all this shit to the table. Um, I mean, I bring all this shit up to these people and I'll be already ready to debate these people. None of these chicks, they try to present to me can compete with the women that I showed them. So I'm going to show you this. Okay. What is she to me? Is she mid-tier, high-tier, or low-tier? She is mid-tier. Mid-tier. She's high. Because she has that sort of look. She is high. She is mid-tier. Mid-tier. High-tier. High. High, mid, 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 high, mid, mid. And people might say she got her, she got curly hair. Yeah, but there's something I see in her that's. Not really, not really there. She's high. Mid. 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 High. Because she got traditional. Mid. High. High. High, high, mid, 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 
Mid. 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 Hi. Hi. So, you gotta understand. <laughs> I know what I want. I'm not gonna take that. You you know what I want. You know what I think is low tier. This is low tier. But would I take her in makeup? She's mid tier. Would I want to look at this face every single day in low tier? Because she has a low tier face. She it, but based off her ranking to my ranking, she's mid. She's not low tier. Now I can show you low tier women. I can really show you them. I can show you them. I can show you what they look like. Mid tier women. Mid tier women have a collection of things that I think that they do quite well. Her, she's mid tier. She doesn't have the perfect face. She doesn't have the perfect body. She doesn't have the the, the perfect feet. And her her hands are pretty much almost close to feminine masculine but what she does to make her mid tier is her hair her face with makeup on and her body type and maybe because I got a bias because I have a crush on her from Team Wolf. So, that's the thing, right? She would be... She would be mid-tier. You have to do... You have to be completely... To me, for you to be low-tier, you have to completely check no type of box. Okay, for you to be low-tier, your hair... Had to be a level one. Your body type had to be a level one. Your silhouette has to be a level one. And your skin has to be a level one. Uh, and your face has to be a level one. So for you to be a mid tier to me. You couldn't have, you couldn't possess. There's women that is mid-tier that possess one or two things that I like. Two, three things that I like. Five things that I like. The higher tier women possess almost all of them. With any, with nothing lacking thereof. So, you have to understand one thing. Stop letting these people manipulate you. Stop letting them tell you that you should be dating this. You're dating outside your league. Know exactly who they're talking about. Because they are, they're, they're shooting at imaginary women. To you to date. And not sh sh shooting at women that actually exist in the world. Remember. I'm not just in America. I'm not just an American dude. Uh, I'm not just limiting myself to American women. Uh, it's international. So this is ain't far out my range to try to date, uh, to try to get at women who look like this. The sky's the limit if you have a passport. Sky's the limit if you travel. Sky's the limit if you have money. Sky's the limit. You're not going to be holding to crusty ass females. That's the thing. When you have the ability to get up and do what you need to do, you can choose any of these. They're not out of your range. You can find a woman like her. Not a woman like her. I mean, not her, but you can find somebody like her. If you like any of these chicks, if you like somebody, there's always a copy of that girl somewhere else. Don't hurt nobody. Don't hurt yourself because you ain't getting the right girl.
Put yourself in those positions where you get them. And make sure you understand. Make sure you create something. A list of your own. That. When you do get these girls. Or get in a relationship with them. Make sure that you can filter out the things that you want. And you'll tolerate and you need. Because the fact is. Every man can get any girl they want. Because this is a big giant world. But the fact is. You need the money. And you need the access to do it. You don't have to break your back. You don't have to be a fool. You don't have to throw people under the bus. Start doing this, man. I want more guys to start posting the pictures they of women they find attractive. And then, if anybody said that you don't deserve that, say, hey, okay, post pictures of women you think that I should be with, that I can be happy. Because I gave you my list. And do just like this. You know, I gave you my list of what the stuff that I want and the level of stuff that I want, the kind of hair tones that I want, the kind of uh, 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 body type, blah, blah, blah. Don't don't have them tell you, oh, girl, got a big ass. I don't care about asses and, and tits. So shut the fuck up. I like this particular this and this and that. This is why I said that men have to have a menu of the stuff that they want. So you don't get. Kind into liking whatever other people want you to like. So that's my request to the um somebody who's uh asked me about my updated list of the women I like, how I live, blah blah blah, and all the stuff that I do, how I think a little bit. This is just a portion of it. So it can help other people. Cause <laughs> Oh, see, you can't say shit like I'm one blowjob away from the plantation to me. You can't say that, you know, you dating outside your league. I got proof of who I like and I can break down why I like it, who I like it. Also, I can break down about my worth. I can break down what I think about the world. And I can break down the women I don't want in my life and the women I do want in my life. So this is for the people who... So they don't use it against you. Because I, they're weaponizing women against men multiple times. And they're weaponizing a lot of different things against men. They can't weaponize it against me. <laughs> I can, I can give you, let me give you a girl who I can consider mid-tier to me. Uh, uh. 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 Uh, is this her? No, that's not her. Here we go. This chick right here. So, this is the single mom that tried to act like she was better than me. This is the low tier chick. I still have text messages and inbox messages of her asking me on a date, which I say no because you're a single mom. Um, I got proof. This is low tier to me. None of the stuff that she got. None of the stuff that she is is attractive to me. She's low tier. None of it. None of it. Uh, no, none of what she looks like. Because I'm not trying to show them. 
None of it. None of it. None of it. So, if I could help more people understand, we have a we in a we in an internet we in an internet based society. There's never gonna we're never gonna go back to face to face bullshit because the same people who told people to go face to face, we were in a pandemic and they were trying to tell you to go face to face. We don't know what's the next. Lockdown gonna be. We don't know what the next disease gonna be. We don't know. We don't know any of that. Guess what? There's remote working. There's we're we're in the technological. We're in the technology age. Stop letting people weaponize things at all. And you make sure you have the tools to counter everything they say. Create your own whatever system that you want about attractiveness. Who you think is attractive. You put it down on paper and pen. And you solidly put that on there. Because the fact is. The low tier women. That I might allow to be around me. Or I even date. I never thought about it. I always thought myself to be the mid tier or the high tier. I always would let them mid tier high tier. I never dreamed of actually accepting anybody low tier because I wouldn't want to be around somebody who has absolutely nothing that I'm attracted to on her body and all she has is the inside stuff because if she has the inside stuff nine times out of ten we're in here never gonna kiss never touching nothing that I have to have at least three or four things that I'm drawn to that she taken care of and that's mid-tier low tier women most of them don't take care of absolutely nothing. And I understand as a man, you got to have something too that they like. That's more important than muscles and dick size and all that other shit. But they never make a list like that like I did. They never will. And <laughs> like I said, it's uh, if it could help you. You want to know what kind of chicks you want. Uh, well, the, the, the low tier women are the, 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 the women that I have almost absolute. It won't be have no tolerance for, for. For real. No tolerance for. The high tier women that I want. I will have somewhat tolerance. But as you see. I have a little. Like I said. There's top tier chicks that I like. That got certain hair hair tones. Certain facial structures. I look at everything, uh, every weakness. Somebody's bald head or septums or none of that stuff. You haven't, you you didn't see not one chick that I, oh, you never, you didn't see a whole bunch of chicks that I I had that had all these tattoos all over their body. I think that shit's absolutely disgusting and ruins the whole body. I like women with nice skin and everything else, but like I said before, man, you gotta make sure. You have to make sure not to let these motherfuckers manipulate you into dating or being with somebody that you don't want. You don't want to be with an overweight woman holding the kid up. Talking about we building together. Because that Asian guy, his wife look better than yours. That Latino guy has a better looking wife than you. That other stuff, we have to compete on a whole different level. The optics is very important. And I want to be able to look at my wife and say, I can't keep my hands off you. Not that, oh, I, she just make me happy. Oh, she just does this and that. No, 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 no. Because all that other stuff I can do. This is why most of us are going to go overseas. The women here don't cut it. They don't. They're not loyal. They're not anything like that. They got mental. The, the, the ones that are very good looking, they're f***ed up inside and out. They inside too. That's why I took away all that shit with the big boobs and big ass. Because guess what? That don't impress me. I care about maintenance. And I care about tolerability. But, hey man. Uh, I'm talking way too much. And, yeah. Shout out to the person who emailed me and asked me that. Uh, I wanted to update that. Update the video that I had before. And... Yeah, that's my entire. That's not my entire system, but that's my system when how I vet so-called women, uh, and how I vet the 
how I deal with the environment in general, how I deal with people. I got more, I got a whole bunch of systems that just, the stuff that I can write down and I can remember, I literally can, based off somebody with the way they talk and how they treat people and how they treat other situations, I can just knock them out, man. There's like thousands and thousands of people who follow one person and I'll be like, oh, that's the people that I won't associate with. You can't escape it. Um, that's one thing that, and let me leave a reminder before I leave. That's a reminder, right? If you liked at somebody in the past and you think that person was good or think that person was right what they say, but you don't listen to them no more, I can understand that right there. But if you did that many different times and that same person was saying the same thing that the person you stopped listening to and you just went to another one and then that you fell out of that person and you're the dumber, that's what you think. Just like, look, look, George Makem exposed himself of trying to get men to date single moms. A lot of these dudes are having sex with their single mom. I mean, having sex with their baby moms and all this other stuff. Nobody wants to get a trap. The Courtney Michelles, the all these other people who pretend like they're good women, they don't make no points. They don't make any type of points. None of it. At all. Like I said, man, if you, uh, like I said, if, like I said, in my, in my, uh, my chat, in my, uh, comment sections, why don't you try to write down women you think are highly attractive and tell me why? Because, as I said before, I'm not trying to go after Instagram models and stuff like that. You like that's the stupid shit. I want people that I want chicks that I literally visually can want to see with and want to be with. That's the thing. Right? Because in every other society, the woman supposed to look better than the man. Not the man look better as the woman. In other societies, there are so many men, and I want to I'm probably going to make videos about that too. Uh, showing the difference between relationships in America and they're showing the relationships in other countries where the men look 10 times worse than the women and they got beautiful wives and they don't have to be the stud, the stud and all this other crap that the niggas over here have to be. They're fine being this uh, gut, gut wearing guy with a toupee and all that. And it's not just because the money it's something else It's the culture. And that's what men go overseas for the culture. Not this topsy-turvy bullshit.